In the previous video, we introduced polytropic processes and we saw how the PV diagram in the top left hand corner can be produced for a cycle containing four processes. Process one to two was adiabatic compression, two to three was isobaric expansion, three to four was polytropic expansion, and four to one was isochoric cooling. Now, if you haven't already watched that video, we started with conditions at position one with a pressure of four bar, a volume of two liters, and a temperature of zero degrees C or 273.15 Kelvin. And we worked our way around the cycle based on a known volume V2, a known volume V3, and a known volume V4. We saw how we could apply a range of different polytropic processes to find the unknowns at each of those corresponding points, two, three, and four. Now in this video, we're going to look at how much work is being done on the gas during each compression phase, and how much work is being done by the gas during each expansion phase. Now by convention, if work is being done, which we could call work in, W in, then that's actually positive work. And if work's coming out or work's being done by the gas on the surroundings, then work out or W out is actually negative by convention. And we'll see that this is the case as we calculate the work moving between each of these positions. Now the formulas that I'm going to be using here are given on the equations and information sheet for this learning outcome. So I recommend printing that out and having it to hand so that you can refer back to each of these formulas. So the first thing that we have moving from position one to position two is adiabatic compression. We know during this adiabatic compression, we have a pressure P1 of four bar and a volume V1 of two liters. And the gas is being compressed until the pressure increases to 16.07 bar and the volume is decreased to 0.6 liters. The previous video explained how we could calculate P2 if V2 is known. Okay, so we know that when we move from position one to position two, we have an adiabatic compression. And the formula for calculating the work done then, W1 to two, for an adiabatic process is P2, V2, minus P1, V1, all divided by gamma minus one. Now we need to remember here, because we want the work done in joules or SI units, then we need to use our pressure in SI units and we need to use our volumes in SI units. Therefore we have the following, W1 to two equals P2. Well P2 is 16.07 bar, but the way that we convert from bar to pascals is by multiplying by 100,000 or times 10 to the five. We have V2 as 0.6 liters, but the way that we get from liters to meters cubed is by dividing by 1,000. Now 0.6 divided by 1,000 is 0.0006. From that, we need to subtract P1 which is four bar, or four times 10 to the five, times two liters, two divided by a thousand is 0.002 meters cubed. It's all of that on top of our fraction divided by gamma minus one. Well, gamma is 1.155. 1.155 minus one is 0.155. Therefore, W1 to two, when we run that through the calculator, equals 1059 joules, accurate to the nearest whole number. So let's put W1 to on our diagram. W1 to equals 1059 joules. And then we can calculate W2 to three for our isobaric expansion. So the formula for work done in an isobaric or constant pressure process is as follows. W going from two to three equals minus P V2 minus V1. But because we're going from position two to position three, we're instead going to write that 
as V3 minus V2. Now note that I haven't specified whether P is P2 or P3, and the reason behind that is because they're both the same. It's an isobaric or constant pressure process. But once again, we do need to remember to work in SI units. We have a pressure of 16.07 bar. 16.07 bar is 16.07 .07 times 10 to the 5. We need to remember to apply the minus sign to the outside. And then we're multiplying that by V3 in SI units, 0.8 divided by 1000 is 0.0008 minus V2, which we've already said is 0.0006 in SI units. Now running that through the calculator gives us an answer equal to minus 321.4 joules. So to be consistent, we'll express that to the nearest whole number, minus 321. So transferring that to our diagram, we have W23 equals minus 321 joules. So as we said before, when we do work on the gas, or when we compress the gas, we end up with a positive answer. And when the gas does work on the surroundings, i.e. when it's expanding, we end up with a negative answer. Therefore, moving from position 3 to 4, we would also expect a negative answer because the gas is expanding. So let's calculate the work moving from 3 to 4, and we know that 3 to 4 is a polytropic expansion. OK, so W, 3 to 4, is P4V4 minus P3V3, all divided by N minus 1. This time it's divided by N minus 1, not gamma minus 1, because we have a polytropic process, not an adiabatic process. Now, in the previous video, we calculated the polytropic index moving from 3 to 4 to be 1.112. So that's the value we're going to use here. As before, working in SI units, we have P4, which is 5.8 bar. 5.8 times 10 to the 5, converting to Pascals, times V4, which is 2 litres, or 0 0.002 metres cubed. From that, we're subtracting P3, 16.07 bar, or 16.07 times 10 to the 5, times V3, 0 0.8 litres, or 0 0.0008 metres cubed. Once again, we'll use our square bracket, because it's all of that divided by N minus 1. N is 1.112. 1.112 minus 1. 0.112, giving us a work done moving from 3 to 4, equal to minus 1121 joules. So once again, we note that it's negative because the gas is expanding, and we can transfer our value onto our diagram W34 equals minus 11. 2, 1, joules. Now position 4 to position 1 is isochoric cooling. So the important thing here is, because the volume of the gas isn't changing, no work is being done either on the gas or by the gas. Therefore, W4 to 1 is just going to be 0. We only have work done when the gas is either expanding or contracting, so W4 to 1 equals zero joules. Now for completeness what we can do is we can work out the network done on or by the gas. So let's clear a little space in the bottom right hand corner. And if we want to work out the network done on or by the gas, we need to work out the work done or the total work per cycle. So that would be the work done in moving from position one to two plus the work done moving from 2 to 3, plus the work done moving from 3 to 4, plus the work done moving from 4 back to 1. We said the work done to move from position 1 to 2 was positive 1059. 
W23 was negative. If we add a negative, that's the same as subtracting. We said the same for 3 to 4. That was also negative, 1, 1, 2, 1. And 4 to 1 was 0. So we don't need to add 0 onto there. But that gives us a total work then equal to minus 383 joules. So the important thing here is we have a magnitude of work of 383 joules, but we also know that that's negative. Right at the start we said if we have a negative value, then that represents work being done by the gas on the surroundings. So in this cycle we're actually producing work by compressing and then expanding our refrigerant R410A.